Hello guys, back to the tutorial. In the last video, we are able to save the data in our Core Data app. This video, we are going to fetch the data and we are going to display it in our table view. So let's go to our main view controller. First, I'm going to import Core Data. Import Core Data. Now, I'm going to create a reference to our view context. Let's say context is equal to UI application dot share dot delegate as app delegate dot persistent container dot view context now I'm going to create a function let's say func fetch function and inside of this function I'm going to create an fetch request and I'm going to fetch the data so let's say request is equal to NSPath request and our model my list and using entity name let's say my list using a uh, do catalog we'll fetch the data so do try our context dot fetch Request is going to be a request. Using a cat block, we will get the error. Friend error. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to uh, save the data which is fed by this line. Let's say a variable result. Result is going to be type of an array of our model, my list. And the beginning is going to be empty. So here, result is equal to. And now, I'm going to call this function inside app, inside we will appear instead of view did load. Because we need to display the data uh, soon after uh, we save the data and we are coming back uh, from our save VC to our main view controller where we have our table view. So in order to do that we must declare this fetch function instead uh, inside of uh, we will appear and we also need to reload our table view. So we will appear super dot we will appear an animator as to and we'll call the function fetch and we're also going to reload our table view now we'll display our data in our table view itself so in order to do that I'm going to create a variable let's say result and here in the result we will fetch each of the data from our result according to index part of row Result using index path dot row of our table view will fetch the data of our result array. Now we will assign each of the data into our uh, labels of our uh, table view cell. So cell dot task dot text is equal to result. dot task cell dot priority dot text is equal to result dot priority cell dot we're going to set the priority text label color as the stored color in our model result color okay that's it now we will run our program before that I'm going to give a height to our table row let's say height for row at index path
let's three ten ninety five and we will run the program Uh, we need to change our number of rows in section as result dot count let's add let's say I'm going to hide our simulator keyboard I'm going to use our system keyboard okay let's say it's something I'm going to give priority of medium save uh, you can see here we are able to save the task with priority medium I'm going to add one more task let's say uh, Let's go for work. A work. Uh, let's give a priority of high. I mean, to save the data. Or you can see here we are able to save the data. So we are able to save the data and we are able to fetch the data and we are able to uh, display it in our table. So, guys, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.